I guess in many ways the barrel break was Nerf's first foray into the shotgun world. It fired two shots once. Next up we have the rough cut, which fired two shots slam fired. And sometimes more than two darts at a time, depending on how that cheeky intelligent AR system's feeling. Intelligent AR means intelligent air restricted system, by the way. An intelligent sentient being. Next came the sledge fire, allowing you to fire three darts at a time. Oh, dependent on how many of these you have. Then there are blasters that like to pretend to be shotguns sometimes. Okay, so I don't have one of the barrels that lets me do this, but the Cyclone Shock has a go at being a shotgun sometimes. The new rival Artemis also loves pretending to be a shotgun. Up to three darts at a time slam fired. Followed potentially, immediately, by 30 single rounds. That's impressive. And the rival Atlas also fires two shots at a time. I think it's fair to say that the joy of any Nerf shotgun is firing more than one shot at a time. If you're going to try and be a Nerf shotgun, that's what you need to do. Even the barrel break, whilst it's not everyone's favourite blaster, manages that as a Nerf shotgun. There's been a lot of talk about mega shotguns recently. And whilst the Cyclone shot can act as a shotgun for elite darts, it does not count as a mega shotgun. I wish, wish, wish we had some kind of a... It's a mega shotgun! Double breach! Breach loading shotgun! It's got two barrels and everything! Comes with six star! Double barrel blasting! That sounds promising! Nerve double canon! C'est bon! Doppelauf blaster! Wunderbar! Lanzador de canon double! La very good! And this guy seems pretty happy with it! Well, it certainly looks like some kind of a double barreled shotgun! Pump action, and it's got that kind of shell storage thing that you get on the side of shotguns sometimes. Dart storage. Pick on targets with this breech low double barrel blaster that fires one dart at a time. Hasbro! Fires one dart from each barrel. Looks like a shotgun, but isn't a shotgun. Hasbro, you troll me! Psycho shot! Sure enough. We have a look at the picture on the front. One dart at a time. You are really cheeky. And while we're on the subject of cheeky, I'll tell you one other thing that's cheeky. When I went to Smith's to buy this, along with the Artemis and a couple of other blasters, they tried to sell me batteries. None of the blasters needed batteries! And she asked it so convincingly that I almost thought this was a battery-powered blaster. Oh yes, that must be a button that switches on something battery powered. Why else would they be offering me batteries at the checkout? They asked me so confidently I could have sworn he was loading batteries into that compartment. Take six mega batteries. Don't let them trick you into buying batteries. Beep. Would you like batteries with your purchase? But of course! Who doesn't like a bit of Ever Ready with their Royal Gala? Or Duracell with their Brayburn? Or IMR with Granny Smith? I bought some bananas as well. Better give me some 9 volts for them. And size D's for the crackers. Anyway. Oh, I almost forgot we're having a Sunday roast as well. Give me a 12 volt acid battery for that. What is this world coming to? Might as well unbox this now. Still slightly gutted, it only fires one shot. Sleeing attachment points here and here. Tactical rail up top. It's actually much smaller and lighter than you'd imagine it to be when you see it in the packaging. And here's where you load it. Just a minute. This bit's orange in the picture. More light! So that comes. Ah, oh, you can use that. Okay. So that comes back. Open this up. And I guess the darts go in there. Out comes that, and it looks like once this goes in, it stays in. In for good now. Get me some darts out. One, two, three, four. And these two, I guess, go right in there. Oh, look, there's another little box down there. More lies! <laughs> Don't forget your batteries, Jill. And now that this is all loaded up, you close it. And now I guess you fire. Well, that first one was a dud. Still a dud. Gutted. 
open them up. I'm going to push these all the way. Oh, I didn't push them all the way in, of course. Why would it be any different? Oh, first one fired. Second one fired. To be honest, they both seem to fire fairly straight. That's nice. Oh, I keep on getting caught out by this. You've got to push them all the way down. All the way in. There you go. Fairly happy with how accurately this is flying. Let me see if I can load these last two without any hitches at all. All the way in. Well, do you know what? For what it is, it's fine. It's not too bad, but I'm still absolutely gutted it doesn't fire two at once. Implicit deception aside though, it doesn't seem like a bad blaster. So in terms of speed of loading, it's not fantastic. It'll take quite an ambidextrous person to get this loaded and fired off quite quickly. Seemed to fire fairly straight, which is nice. But now I'm asking myself the question, two shots per load up as it were. Why don't I just load this and get five shots? Or the Mega Bow and get five shots. Or even a Magnus, which is much smaller. Okay, this is only a part of a Magnus, but in terms of size comparison, three shots, two shots. There's quite a big difference there. Okay, so I know you could argue there are tricks with perspective going on here, but it's not that much smaller than the Mastodon. 25 shots, as opposed to just two. And if I'd been buying something like a Mastodon, by the way, it would have been fine for you to offer me batteries. Personally though, if it's not going to be firing two shots at once, I'd rather have a blaster that's smaller and fires more shots. Plus it's easier to reload, you just stick your darts in the front. At least it didn't need batteries. Or have a blaster that's a similar size and fires ten shots. Either way, this is kind of caught in the middle. Sorry, but it's even got one less sling attachment point than the Roto Fury. Though, one thing it kind of does have going for it is its slimmer side profile, but then, why not a Magnus? You see, in my mind, it kind of makes sense for the double breach to do kind of what the barrel break did, to pave the way for a multi-barreled nerf shotgun. Okay, so two shots isn't great, but at the same time, it's fun and shotgunny. And if the double breach were meant to be doing this for the Mega Twin shot, I think I would have wanted to have seen both barrels firing at the same time. All of that said, if that hadn't have been my expectation, it's not a bad blaster. It does what it's meant to do. The fact that it's quite thin and light is a good thing. And that's a nice touch too. Aesthetically I can see the appeal and I think people have great fun making this look nice. But as a war blaster, it's not one that takes my fancy. Its credentials for entry into Nerf Shotgun Club are certainly dubious. The one thing I guess that's kind of good about this is that the Mega Line doesn't yet have anything that's really shotgunny at all. And it's better than nothing. Just by the way, Aki Strike Darts fired just fine from the barrel break. And Sledge Fire Shells too, if anyone was wondering. What's in the stock? Well, what else would there be? Please like, subscribe, then reload and hit the bell. Thanks very much for watching, this is Just a Jolt, signing off.